In this video, I will show you four different methods of formatting a drive such as hard disk, SSD drive, USB drive, or SD card. I will use SD card as an example, but you could follow the same method on any other devices. You might already have tried some of these solutions. To navigate to any particular section, please use the chapters in the description. First method. In this example, my SD card is my H drive. And in your case, it might be a different drive. Before formatting a drive, such as a SD card, you first need to make sure that the drive is empty or it doesn't have any files in the drive that is important to you. So what I would suggest to you is to make a copy of any files or folder inside that drive. To make a copy, just open the drive, then select all the folders in that drive, right click and then select copy. Then go to any other drive or to your desktop and then right click there and click paste and make sure all the files and folders are moved from the drive that you want to format. The simplest method to format a SD card or any drive is to right click on the drive and then select format. Here you can leave the settings as they are and then click on start. Then it will give you a warning saying formatting removal disk H, the one that you have selected, would erase all data on this disk. So if you want to continue, click on OK. Before clicking OK, make sure you have selected the right drive and not accidentally selected a wrong drive because once you click OK and it will format, there is no way to reverse this process. So press OK. If you get this message, that means you can't format this drive unless you unlock the SD card. So press OK, select close and then take out your SD card from your computer. How to unprotect an SD card. If you look at the side of the SD card, you will see a lock symbol. And if the position of the gray slider is on the lock, you need to move it up in order to unlock the SD card from the protected mode. I'm using a docking station to connect my SD card to my computer and my docking station has got also a protected knob which you need to make sure that it is positioned in its unprotected location so that you could format the SD card. How to remove the read-only attributes using PowerShell. Now, if you try to format again using the same procedure, and if you still get the message saying the disk is write protected, then we need to use PowerShell in order to remove its read-only attribute. To do so, right-click on the start and then select Windows PowerShell Admin. Once your Windows PowerShell is open, simply type disk part and press enter. Now you can see the directory has changed from system32 to disk part. To get a list of all the hard disk or SD cards, simply type list disk and then press enter. Here we need to select the disk that we want to change its read only attribute. In my example, I will be selecting disk 4. So type select disk and then enter your disk number. Once you have done, press enter. And then you get a message saying disk 4 is now the selected disk. Now we need to type attributes disk clear read only and then press enter. Then you should get a message saying disk attributes cleared successfully. Now you can close the PowerShell and restart your computer. After restarting, you should be able to format that drive using the first method. Other error messages for formatting disk. 
Another problem that you could have with your SD card is that when you insert it to your computer, you might get this message saying you need to format the disk in your drive, whatever drive you're using, before you can use it. Do you want to format it? And then if you press format disk, it comes with this format USB drive option. And then if you click start, then you get a warning. And then if you press OK, you will get this message saying Windows was unable to complete the format. You might also get a message saying Windows can't format your drive. Check to see that the disk and drive are connected properly. Second method. Right click on the start and then select disk management. If you don't find the name of your disk under the volumes, then you would have to scroll down and find your disk and then right click in this unallocated area and then select new simple volume. Then click on next, next, next. Here you will get two options. One, do not format this drive and the other format this drive with the following settings. Here you can select the settings you want to use to format and also give a volume label. Since we want to format this drive, we select the format option and then select next. Here it gives you a summary of the settings that it uses. Read it carefully and if you're happy, press finish. If your disk doesn't have any issues, then it would format it quite easily. Otherwise, you might get another error saying virtual disk manager data error cyclic redundancy check so you got to press ok if your disk management is able to detect your drive that you want to format for example this drive h in here obviously make sure that you have selected the correct drive then simply right click on it and then simply select format and then it will give you file system and allocated unit size default you can obviously change that you can also change this and you can also give it a new label then press on ok just make sure you have selected the right drive as i have always said and if you're happy press on ok and you can see it has formatted it and it's now called new volume h so you can simply close this third method Right click on start and then select Windows PowerShell admin. Type disk part and press enter. This then will give us a lot of options to work with various disks such as SD card. To get the list of various disks, simply type list disk and press enter. Here you can see all the available disks and you have to be again very careful in selecting the correct disk that you want to format. If you select the wrong disk to format, all your data on that drive would go forever. In my case, I will type select disk 4. In your case, you need to type the disk number that you want to format and then press enter. As you can see in here, it says disk 4 is now the selected disk. In order to format the selected drive, you have to simply type clean and then press enter. Here, it should be able to format your selected disk. However, there is a risk of getting an error such as disk has encountered an error, data error, again, cyclic redundancy check fourth method the fourth method is the most intriguing method of all all you have to do is to find another computer and insert the sd card there then simply follow the first method to format the sd card it was a method that worked for me it would be very useful to other users if you could mention the solution that worked for you in the comments other related videos also, it is important to mention that I have made a lot of other videos on how to format drives or delete folders. For example, I have this video called Windows cannot format this drive in Windows 
10 part 1 also I have got the same video but part 2 which a lot of people also found very useful in formatting drives also sometimes you just want to delete folders and uh, here is another of my videos how to delete an item that cannot be found and how to delete a folder another video and one of the most important videos is this one which says the operation is not supported by the object extending partition in here i will show you how to use a third party software called is us make sure you install the free version as you can see install the free version not the trial version and it should help you to format the drive even though in this video i show you how to extend the partition but you could use the same software to format i would suggest you to use this method as your last resort after following my other methods in these other videos i'll put a link to all these videos in the description